Well, I know this won't be easy, but if you could just summarize your philosophy of life via coffee. I think they're very much one and the same. Very much one and the same. Could I ask you, do you know why a coffee mug is round? I have no idea. Do you think that that is a recent, a Western innovation? No. For as long as humans have been drinking coffee, and a, a span of time that goes back to the ancient Egyptians, coffee has been drunk from a round container. Why? Because it symbolizes the sun, the life-giving sun. Just as the sun wakes us up in the morning, so does the coffee that we drink. Oh, fascinating. Isn't it? It really is. Well, I know that uh, you have your book on sale. Uh, yes. <laughs> and there's the one, the one little part, not to give too much away. No, please don't. But there is the one chapter that is the how-tos. Just the simple how-tos, but yes. you make it sound so eloquent. Yes, of course you're speaking of chapter five of my book, Where Have You Been? <laughs> yes, the how-tos. How to drink coffee, how to enjoy coffee. And I, if you read the book, of course, I don't want to give too much away, and I will be starting a book tour. Well, I will appear in Barnes and Nobles across the country, <laughs> signing and, and reading from my, from my book. Uh, but one of the most important things is to be a discriminating coffee drinker. You can't just drink every cup of coffee that passes in front of your desk or your restaurant table. You... That deadens the taste buds. Do you understand? You confuse your taste buds. It's like uh, white noise. No, you have to pass. I would say every, of a hundred cups of coffee that are served to you, choose not to drink 99 of them. 